Hey, everybody. Um, sorry for the late start. Every time we do this, we have a tendency of just expanding and creating just a little more. So I would just keep putting stuff in. So today's going to be really exciting. Um, today's the day that we start showing you how my process, what my process is. I have a lot of partially finished paintings. And that's because when you work with oil painting, you have to let layers dry. So what we're going to do is we actually might jump onto a few paintings today. We're going to start on the one you see in front of us, which are um, spaceships. Very exciting. I drew them all in already. Use pencil. Use pencil. Sometimes, Sometimes I, I use brush only. only. Like I'll go, like right, I'll go at right, right at the beginning and just start laying it in. Laying it in. And when I do, when I do that, that, I use typically, I use typically I'm blind, blind a little. Typically, when, typically I'm, doing when I'm doing something like that, like that I use a filbert, and it's usually, and it's about, usually this about this side. side. You can see, you that. Can see that, and that's and like, that's like smaller than my smaller finger. Than my finger. But, if but if I was to use a detail brush, brush like something like, like something this, like this, this to show you the difference, more of a detail. More of a detail. It's significant, it's significant for size. Significant. significant. So the idea, so the idea is, is to, to just go, ahead go ahead and start in, start in doing the whole doing drawing, the whole drawing with your brush. But but. What I've been what doing, I've been since, doing since the NFT space, space is I want, I want a little more, a little more refinement and detail, and detail, so I go so ahead and just take the time and draw it in, it in um, um, and then, and then go, from go from there. I think it's important, think it's important to say, to say with my process, my process is I'm, I'm really fast painter, so I, because I've told you the history of my mom being a potter and doing craft shows and making money through that process and then going to Leica and painting all of these eyebrows and lips, you find ways to become faster and one of my ways is putting four paintings within a painting and painting it all at the same time and it's just like um getting into a system that works really well so what so we're doing here is, here is we are creating, creating this spaceship, this spaceship painting. painting i have i have i've already, I've already laid out my paints, out my paints. Um, I have, I have a very specific palette of colors typically, typically that, I that I start with. You can always, you can always introduce, introduce more as you go, as you go. but for, but me, for I like me, I like to keep it super simple. It can get very complicated, complicated if you have, if you have blues, blues and red, reds, and three whites, and, whites and, and, and people do and that. that. That's and that's awesome, awesome for them, but I also feel like you can disconnect from your work. Uh, sometimes, sometimes you wonder why, why the colors, the colors are all together, all together and it's because you've got so many, many plates, plates spinning, with spinning with all these different color, color worlds that often, that often it becomes, it becomes really complicated. So, so what, I've what I've done here is, here is I've found colors, colors that, work that work really well, well for me to start, and, and sometimes, sometimes I'll change, change it up, but typically this, these are the colors I start with. Um, it's my red, start I start off with, with a lizard and crimson as my base. And I, and I also, also throw, throw in cadmium, in cadmium red, red, deep, deep typically, or cadmium, cadmium red medium. So then there's, so a, little then there's a little bit of a warm, warm and a cool. cool. So I have a cool red, red which is a little crimson, 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 and I have a warm red, red which is the cadmium. Then I, then I, if you come, come over here, so that's these, these two guys right here. Right here. You probably can't really pull them. Hold them. I'm going to use my other hand so you can see them. These, these two right here. This is one, and this is one right here. I also, I also have two, two yellows typically today. I decided to have three because I'm working on, on more, but more of a toy, toy plastic, plastic feeling. feeling. I wanted to make I wanted sure, to make sure, sure I had a warm, warm and a cool. cool. Those are my, those two, are my yellows. two yellows. Typically I start with a lemon yellow and then I have like a warm, again, you can kind of see it here. It's like, um, it's like, a, yeah, like this is the yellow. warm yellow. It's like very, it's like warm. very warm. This is, this is, and, is, and like then there's like a, a, yeah, a lemon yellow. But I also but have I a third yellow. Third yellow. Like, why? Why? Well, you, well, you only you're talking, you're talking about, about, a, lot about a lot of colors. The third, the third yellow, yellow is like, like a, white. a white. Often, often when, you're, when you're painting, if you use white, you turn your whole entire painting into chalk, which is not cool. So what I like to do is I use a, a Naples yellow, which is like a it's very light, light pale, pale yellow. yellow. And I, and I use this often, often, often for my white. In fact, in fact a lot of my, a lot of my paintings says the past, past month, and month and a half, I ran out of white a long time ago. So I started using the yellow in all my paintings. And I just, I migrated my all my entire color pattern process for to, to compensate for the fact that I didn't have a bright white. I use the canvas sometimes to pull out that bright color. But um, Naples is really important if you want to keep your, your colors from getting chalky. And then you just, 
if you add yellow instead of white, you can keep a little bit of brightness, but of course you have to have enough color knowledge not to make things right. muddy, right? Um, and then, um, and then I have my blue, which is ultramarine blue, blue. And, um, and sometimes, sometimes on the side I'll do like, do like um, Maybe a, maybe a cobalt, cobalt phthalo, phthalo, depending, depending on, on again what I'm doing. Often when you have toys, you need, toys, bright. You need bright and <laughs> brightly and sprightly. Um, so keep that in mind when you're doing it. I don't use black. Um, if I want black, use a pencil. I'm really into bringing different mediums into play. As I think you probably noticed in my work, I also like to use the canvas and the texture. Um, and then I also like to use the digital medium as well. So those are the colors I typically start with. And what I always start doing is I think to myself, obviously things can get really confusing really quickly with color. So I think to myself, local color. And what that means is I look at my canvas, I go, okay, this ship's going to be blue, this ship's going to be gray, this, gray, this yellow, will be yellow, and so I'll make, so we'll make it blue, blue gray, gray and, yellow. and yellow. I'm not going to make, make, gonna make it complicated for myself. For myself. I'm not going to be like, where's like, that purple, purple violet? violet? No. Right now, right now I'm going I'm to block, it block it in like, like I, I want to block it in. I just can't hand my hand like a liquid. And then, you know, the other stuff is to kind of keep in mind. I use turpinoid. I could use turpentine. It's probably probably toxic each other, each other. Um, keep, um, that, in keep that in mind when you're, when you're painting it doesn't matter you're still, you're still gonna get depressed you're still, still gonna get high even if they say you can't, say you can't, can't smell, smell it maybe you won't get a headache good for you still, but still if you're, if you're, doing, if you're doing it because of health issues you might want to question oil paint into, into, you know there's a lot of things that things that can be harmful okay i'm gonna find i'm gonna use a brush that's not Checking, checking out all my brushes. brushes. Here we go. Okay. okay. All right. So we're going right, to so start, with, start this with this guy. Probably we'll lead probably into lead into this one. This one. So I'm going to start with I'm a filbert, I'm a filbert, and this and this is a number four. four. And then I and then I have this one, this one that'll, that'll probably start a little later, a little, later, a little smaller. smaller. You can kind of see, see them. See them. Um, um, for other for details. Other details. But, first but first, I'm literally, literally just blocking, blocking in massive, massive chunks, chunks of color. Of color. So I'm going to go, so I'm gonna go into, my into my blue. You see, there's already paint on here. I feel, I like, feel like to start, start, start with with um, um, a white a white surface, surface when you're painting, when you're painting you you won't be able won't be able to see your color so, so I, I typically don't clean, clean up my paint before, paint before because at some point I want this whole area. area that I'm working on to be nice and gray right now it's white with color but I'll start seeing what I want to do so I also have something called liquid. Some people love it. Some people hate it. I paint, I paint fast, really fast and I'm not very, I'm not very patient. patient. So I typically so have, I'll show, you later, I'll show you later, six or seven, six or seven paintings started, started at the same time. At the same time. So, so I can just go bam, 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 bam. bam. Next day, next day I can start, start at the beginning, beginning again, again and on the next one. And if I have liquid, it's really helpful. So I'm going to start by just a little bit of paint. I'm going to put a little turpentine in right now. And I'm just, and I'm literally, just literally, literally gonna say bye bye airplane. Bye airplane. Um, um, and then just, and then start. just start take it off take my it off my brush a little. A little. Have you know start again, again start, start fresh. Colors colors gonna mix. That's okay. That's okay. Uh, maybe uh, maybe I'll actually I'll make this one, one yellow. Yeah, uh, again again. Some people some people don't like oil paint. paint. They don't like they don't like oil paint, paint because it's it moves, it moves and then it's like then it's like they're gonna take a little bit Naples moves around, moves around. once it moves, once it moves and they're just like, they're just like can't I can't seem to get, seem to get new, new color, color on top. top. There is definitely a rolled oil, oil and that rolled and that rolled oil, oil is, is if you go if you go on, on top of the thin. Of the thin the next layer, the next has layer has to be a thick, thick. and with thick, you know how, you know how oil, oil is oil is always the leader. leader. So if you so have turpentine on your brush and you go and you go over something with a lot of oil, it doesn't like to stick, and so therefore it kind of moves around in your canvas. Those are things, those you, have are things you have to remember right. as you're doing this. Um, so now I'm just, so now kind, of just kind of blocked in, in this, this, and what I love, what I love about oil too is like, is like you just, you just you can't, can't care. You really, you really can't. You know, oh, like, 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 oh,
silvery, silvery with you know, purpley, you know, purpley greeny, greeny, you know. So I'm just, so I'm just gonna use the same colors I started with, get some blue, get some in, blue there. in there, add that alizarin. There we go. There we go. Add some alizarin, add, add a little naples, and, and have a nice, nice, nice warm, warm that might even, that might even be a little too light. Nice a nice warm, warm start, start, and I'll have like, it'll be a lot of shadow, shadow, shadow area, area or the mid area. There. Like, like, it's almost like, it's a, almost rainbow. like a rainbow. It'd be awesome. It'd be awesome. Looking good Looking already, good already I, think. I think. It almost looks, it almost like, looks like pea soup. Pea soup. I, like pea I like pea soup. Pea soup. Pea yeah. soup's good. I mean, I, mean, I don't know if I want to look at it, but okay. So, I'll just so then I'll just add a little, add a little more warmth to some of this, so we don't have to think that it looks like pea soup. Okay. Okay. So, so one, two, one, two three, three, and then I have, have this last one. one. Think of a think color. Of a color. I kind of like, kind of like the idea of. of um, I'm gonna just. I'm gonna just I think I'm gonna make this one right now pea soup too because I do like, I do like metallic, metallic and chrome. chrome. Maybe they'll be maybe they'll be slightly off, off of each other, each other but they'll also. also... And, and you know, you know I, 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 I am using very little um, turpentine. Um, um, I'm, I'm using very little, very little because, because I want I want to paint stick. stick. At the beginning, the beginning, you know, if I, you know, know, if I use a lot of turpentine within, within my medium and, and make it watery, watery. You, can, yeah, you can, yeah, you can wash it down, down and put it down, then, but then you can't, you can't, can't make it, like, if you touch it with your hand, your hand. If I, like, if I touch this with my hand, hand right now, you can see a little fingerprint, but, but nothing, nothing crazy, crazy. Where, if, where if I put a bunch, a bunch of turpentine on there, on there and, and touch it with, touch it with my finger, it would be like, I pull it, everything off. So, I start there, and then I... Going, going to, to start wiping start off, wiping off. And just, just, giving just giving it a nice, like a patina. Like a patina. I've, I've literally just patinaed patina my canvas. This will make, this will make the painting, the painting process, process so much so faster. Much faster. Um, um, and typically, and typically after, I after I draw, I, I um, spray, spray my canvas, my canvas with some... I spray my canvas, spray my canvas with, like, a fixative, fixative just to kind of help keep the pencil there because, because I want to keep it as a guide. And it almost, and it almost looks, looks like my, like my some, of the, some of the, either I didn't spray it, it or, or the bottom, the bottom went, really went really well in the stayed, stayed, but then the top one, it's, it's kind of like it ate at it, ate at it but I still, I still think I see enough to, to um, keep, going. keep going. And what I can do, too, is once the oil is dry... If I want, if I, want um, um, I can always, I can always go back on top of the pencil. And, 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 and you guys feel, feel like sometimes, sometimes when you're doing, when you're stuff, doing like stuff like this, this going going back, back with, a pencil, with a pencil, it's like your it's brain, like your brain, it's like click click. Now you're in a now you're in a different level of thinking, and you're just like. Sketching out, 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 drawing, and drawing, new and new ideas are coming. I feel like, I feel like there's, 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 there's a moment of pause, pause that you want, that you want to do sometimes. sometimes. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I, I like if I wanted to. I don't know if this, know if this is going to work. If I but if I wanted to, I could go in, go in and yeah, see, yeah, I, see I can still, still get a little little in there. And because I wiped a lot of it off, um. It's not like, it's not like I'm, like I'm getting much, getting on, my much on my hand. But then, but then I also have to be careful because, like, see, there's a little, see, there's a little pluck, there. pluck there. This is fine. This is fine. But, but, if I, but if I, but if I, but what, what I'm gonna do, do here, here is I'm is going, I'm going to wipe, to wipe off, off with, with, with the um, um, turpentine. So I just, so just, just want to make sure that I know that what, I'm, know what I'm wiping off because if I don't, I'm gonna be like la la la. So I just want to, I just want to make sure that I still have my map intact. And I, and I think I, I do. do. I just want to make sure that I can still see it enough. Those two guys, Those two guys are a little questionable. Yeah. Okay. I have this, I have this brush. This brush is not silver. It's, it's actually um, um a soft softer brush. brush. I'm gonna, I'm gonna... And this could and this either could be good or bad. Good or bad. Find we don't find out. But what I would do, what I would do is, is I would start, start by just dipping, just dipping it in the turban. This one, I'll, this just one I'll show you again. And so, and so definitely, definitely um, um, okay, this is the one I was just using to scrub in. Ooh, 
That's scrubbing. You can, see all, can see all the paint. And then this, and little, then this guy little guy right, right here, here is going to be more detailed. detailed. It's still pretty it's still big. Pretty big. It's, um, it's, um, it's, a, it's a number four. And actually, this is a number four. They're both number fours, just they're different kinds of brushes. There we go. So now we're gonna we're gonna work on that. Um, so that, one down. that one down. And so what I've and done, so what already, I've done is already is I put some turpentine on it, on it. And, then I can start and then I can start pulling white stuff. stuff. Um, so, so let's see. Let's see. I'm, gonna start, I'm gonna start creating, creating a high, high, and and I can also I can start, start creating, creating a low. low. This will help me start to see value, value because value is like important. really important. So. There we go. So you see, so I, see I, remember, I remember I put a little turpentine, turpentine on the brush, and these, and these this is going to help, help me. me. Let's see, see, see how I'm like pulling this out. And the thing, and the I, thing also I also have, have to remember is like obviously, obviously when I'm doing a thing like this, I don't want any hard edges. edges. I'll show you what I do to get rid of them. So I'm just going off so like the the. the the, the, the tippy top, top of the surface, of the surface. And I'm kind of going, going off, the, going off top. the whole top. Like this whole like, area is going to be lighter than everything else because it's like that's like top view. Top view. So, so I'm like pulling just pulling the paint off. Paint off. I mean, literally, I am pulling the paint, the paint off. off. Okay. okay. And I, don't and I don't need anything, anything but, but just, just a little turpentine. turpentine. I need a little, need a little turpentine. turpentine. Wipe the brush, the brush clean. clean. The turpentine, turpentine likes to hover. And then it just, gives, then it the just gives the brush enough um, um, on, it on it to, to kind of, like, kind of like go through the whole thing. thing. There we go. There we go. So I'm like... So I'm like Again, not being, not very, being like, very like savvy and just, just, just trying to pull some stuff off. Um, um, then I have another, I have another brush. This is a cool so one. So I have, I have something like this. Like this. Super, Super soft. soft. You know, um, you know um, it doesn't really have a label. Well, it does. B F C three. Uh, let's see. Oh, here's the label. Whoa. B F C three. And it's super soft. I feel like I could paint. Well, I can't do this in a minute because then I'm going to have it all over my face. But um, then I'm going to go and very lightly so just kind of sit over, what, over I've what I've just done. And it just softens, and it just softens the, edge. the edge. So, so do it again. Do it again. I've, I've got to remember, I've got to clean off my brush because this could just like quickly, quickly turn into whatever. whatever but but I'm, just, I'm just, I'm literally, literally taking a single color, single color and, and I'm value. creating value. Like that, like that. High point, high point, high point, high point, high point, high point. And like, and like literally, literally, that's all I'm doing. I'm gonna be doing, gonna be doing this on all, all of these guys. guys. I can add a little, add more, a little more, and like literally, and like, literally I'm like, okay, because because I know, I know where the high point is. is. I'm, not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not trying to create, trying to create anything, anything fancy, fancy. But what you will notice is as I do this, um, um. As I, as I go back, go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth this, painting this painting is going to, is going build, to build itself. And I think that's, and I think important, that's to important to know is that when you're when painting, you're painting you if you can just remember the laws of, of like how, like how light, light bounces off of a round object, object or a surface, and if you decide, and if you decide that, that light the light is coming from, from above, from above and, if and if you just take all of all the high, of the high points and, and you know you know take off to whatever to whatever degree. And just be, and able just to be like, the okay, the light would hit the surface, hit the surface and how would it hit the surface? And then you just, and then you just start playing, with, playing that. with that. You start, you start making, making a painting. I haven't used color, used color yet. yet. I've just, I've based, just based on the painting and now I'm, and just, now I'm pulling, just pulling off parts, parts that are just like, just like, okay, this is going to be higher, be higher lighter, lighter than this. I still, I still, this is not the highlight. This is more, this is more like the high mid. Um, in the um, end, in because, the end it's because it's supposed to be like plastic, plastic right? right? Like 1950s, 1950s cool times. Cool times. Um, um, I will, I will make, sure make sure that I have a nice little, little pop of light, light, light to make it seem more like plastic, like plastic than anything. Again, again, again dipping back, back in my turpentine, turpentine, and I'm kind of going like this. I'm looking, back. looking back. And, 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 and I might just like pull out some detail. other detail. Now I might, now go, I might in go in a little harder with the and, and, like, and like try, try to, get to get some of, some like, of the like the little 
hair, hair detail, like detail like this one. one. But I don't want to. I don't want to hit the whole thing. thing. I want to be very, want to be very strategic so the shadows, so the shadows stay around, around the highlight, the highlight or, the or the midlight. midlight. Okay. Okay. See how, See how this is coming, this is together? coming together? Like, like this, this building is building itself. itself. This painting, this painting is building, painting is building, itself. building itself. I think it's coming, I think along. It's coming along. Coming along. Coming along nicely. nicely. Next one. There's one. And there's two. two. Um. But, um. I still haven't. Still haven't like. Done. Done. Anything, anything really? really? Only thing. Only I've thing done. I've done. That requires, that requires any, kind any kind of skill was, was drawing, drawing the planes out, out you which know, you know took a couple hours, couple hours right? 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 Draw, 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 get, draw, get, 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 get it there. But like, oh, I like this. I like how it's coming, and then and then you spray it and you prepare it, and then you're just like, okay, phase two. This is this is you know. So I'm thinking. So I'm thinking in this. I'm going to do like light coming coming from this this direction, right? So then. This side is, let's say right here, this will side be will lit. be more lit. Right here. Right here. And then this and then will this have, have a nice shadow, shadow over here. This, here. this will be cool to be a little shadow. Little shadow. Um, um, but I think it's, but I think it's, I think it's coming, I think it's coming out, out pretty good, good so far. Um, and, and, you know, hopefully, you know, hopefully when, when people, are people are have time this, to see this and ask questions, and ask questions if you have any. This is. This is is one. Okay. Yeah. And then I'll because this, because area, this area and it's really, and it's important, really important, important sometimes that things look super clean. super clean when you're when you're hacking, hacking at it a little you can get like these brush brush brush, 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 brush I don't, and I don't the brush the brush is supposed to be like plastic like, plastic, like get that get that feel, feel of the 1950s really really super, super one one small piece mold type thing type thing um, so um so I'll, I'll go you know, go over it again with this little fine brush to make sure that the strokes that are there are kind of clean they they have soft edges they have to be a little on the clean side so you idea. get that idea of really smooth um smooth surface so yeah this guy wondering how much further i'll go with him i might just leave him as is but i also might just try to really punch up a few uh, spots like that like that and then and then like like just really just emphasize. really emphasize brush brush like this. Like this. Always, lean, Always back lean back and look at your work. To see, to see how it's all, connecting. How it's all connecting. connecting. And go back in. And then go back again. So then I want to make sure that this reads as it's popping out while well, that sits back on the wing kind of sits back. And the way to do that is you got to make sure that this part is a little brighter and lighter than the light underneath it. And that's how you start defining space. And then go in and I kind of just start smoothing that edge again. And then I go up and then, yeah, I feel like this is a great start to this one. I think the other thing too is so if you were to look, and I'm going to point with my brush, you have this area right here, this area right, right here. This is actually going to be like darker here. And then you have a piece of plastic that gets, becomes bulbous and round again. So you want to make sure there's a reflected light that makes a lot of sense. Um, so I'm going to try to softly... Now, I don't want it to be as high light as the rest of it. So same brush, same terpenoid. I'm just going to be like more sensitive and try to just have a hint of that coming out. And then I'm going to like make sure that my, my big brush is fine. I'm going to like, I just want a hint. I don't want it straw as, as tight or anything like that. Okay. So that's ultimately, um, that's how I want to start this. Everything else, you know, and later I might just again go in with the same while it's still wet because it'll be wet a half a day. 
and it's only going to be wet half a day because I did apply a little bit of liquid um, and liquid makes things dry quickly and some people love it and some people hate it and everybody has a right to their opinion. Um, I personally love it because I'm, I paint really fast because of my process. Like I found a way that really works for me. And so, um, you know, I don't need to, I, back in the day, I used all of the things that everybody else uses. I don't use it anymore because I, I want it to be faster. So now if I wanted to, I could even take the paper towel, you can kind of see, like I can really pull out a highlight and then I can add that more depth, like, like just in the center. Like I wanted to really like start showing that the light is here. You know, I can start pulling out with this which will just hit the surface. See how hard that hit? And then um, I can do that everywhere and just kind of like go across the whole thing of where I really want that light to be. Like, But what's so cool is you still have that, that yellow. And I feel like over here, see how this is hotter than this? Like the top is hotter than the bottom. I certainly don't want that either. So I'll go ahead and with my brush is like literally just let the oil, which is why, again, I like oil. Um, I don't have to reinvent a color. I don't have to mix a color again. I just have to like move the paint around. And um, and I might actually pull some of this into the painting if I can, if it will let me. Because I really want this kind of the, like, I want it to be balanced. Okay. That is good for this guy. Um and I'll just go across again a little bit and then I'll hit it again with a little soft. And then I'll hit this guy really quite hard because he's, he's kind of dragging down here. So I'm going to hit it hard. And then kind of get that light. There we go. I think that's probably better. Those are those are the starts, then, you know, I'm going to want to go into this with, um, with some darks and then I have to decide where do I want to take the darks. And I think with the yellow, I'm going to start with a more of a green, um, that because it's close to yellow. So I, I can turn that corner convincingly. And then when I get to those, those like uh, reflected lights and some of those darks will go to violet because it's the complementary, so it'll make the yellow pop more. So if I want a bright candy coated toy, you go to its complement. But but I also want to have really nice, clean, soft transitions so it looks like a a baller um, toy. So I'll kind of play with that, and then the background's going to also play an important role on on how that candy coating is responds. Um, and I really do enjoy leaving sometimes backgrounds with a lot of the thin paint and then just kind of playing with that thick paint. Um, so that's the first one ready to go. Just going to sit here and just kind of do its thing. And, um, I think, I think I'll leave that here. This might actually be the, the thing that we jump on the next one. I thought that, you know, giving myself two hours might be too long, but it looks like it's going to actually measure up to be really quite good timing. So now I'm going to go on to the next one. Same concept. Um, I feel like these colors I'm not sure of yet. Um, I think the blue is going to work out well, but it's going to be interesting. I'm going to, I'm going to, with these, I'm going to try to keep more of the underpainting because, you know, metallics are really are reflective. So you don't want a bunch of paint because that kind of kills that whole reflective feel. So I'm just going to go in and um, start pulling from it and just kind of, kind of like, like really just pulling a lot of paint off and then doing a lot of what we kind of talked about, which is this, right? Just kind of soften that edge. And I'm going to be playing a lot with back and forth and playing like a tug of war again, just softening that edge. Um, and allowing for the darks where I want them to stay dark, to stay dark. Like this. I mean, already, I think already it looks cool. I'm like, Ooh, that's a, another great thing about painting is like, um, I have something, I have a painting up right now in foundation. It's, um, a truck 
and that truck I was doing, someone wanted me to paint their old toy truck. And um, I started painting it and I was just like very quickly realized that it was done. I was like, da, 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 da. <gasps> oh my God. And I had like so much of the underpainting happening. It was really coming out. And so, and then I would just pile a few key strokes on top and it just, it worked out so well that I, I just, um, I talked to my family. I was like, uh, it's already done. And they were just like, what? You just started it yesterday. I was like, I know. I don't, I just something it was I was very the piece was very inspiring um I really enjoyed doing it and so I was just like uh this thing's done um and so it's really a some of these paintings that I've been putting up are about moments where I broke through and came up with some kind of really cool like oh epiphany of of my work that's an epiphany painting and then I also realize that I'm slowly going blind. Here we go. I'm going to go use a smaller brush because I have a little piece here and I don't. You know, I also realized this morning, which I thought was really funny, is that when I was like getting in there for detail with my fingers, I put my hand down the same way I would put my hand down to hold a pool stick. And I was like, oh, maybe there's something to this. You know how you make a bridge for your hand to hold the stick? I was making the same bridge and I was like, rack them. That was it. Same thing. If you, you know, start to look back, start to look at the subject. And again, it's, um, it's kind of painting itself. I'm just, I'm literally just, I mean, when I was in college, I learned to do silver, is it silver point. Is that what it's called? I don't know if anybody's familiar with silver point. And it's about using a silver pencil, like literally silver. And you literally do use it on a clay board and you sketch. And it's like the silver leaves a mark. And um, I drew this really cool portrait. Um, I, you know, sometimes I'm just like, wow, I did that, you know, because it was like really detailed. And it was a, a portrait of um, my, my best friend at the time's grandfather. And it was super rad. And sometimes, and or have you ever done the charcoal with vine charcoal? And you you literally start by making the whole surface black, and then you take your kneaded eraser and you start pulling and extracting, going opposite. This kind of what this is. Um, I used to. I mean, I still do sometimes, depending on the subject. But I used to paint where I paint on. I add and create, and now I find um, that my brain thinks better when I subtract. So I make the surface as base color I think would be really well for the tone. And then from there, I start pulling out the colors that I need. Um, and then do, you know, a couple of quick glazes and then pop up a couple pieces of paint. Seems to have worked really well for this whole like feel of, you know, 1950s toy times. Again, just doing what I'm doing, pulling out paint. Yes, do it.
Also the nails done now. with their nails done now.
girls with their nails done now.
girls with their nails done now. I'm gonna go 
something else that I know. Thank you. 
with their nails done now. It's really windy here. Um, look at my hair. What is going on? It's really windy here. Um, so I hear a lot of blustering, bliss, blustering, blistering, blue. I don't know what they call it, but it's happening outside. I have a window right here. And it's in such a sound that I could have sworn I heard my daughter going, Mom, but she's in school. <laughs> so there's no interruptions. Um, so as you can see, I am just, I just used a single local color. I am pulling out the paint job from using liquid. And I am literally just like pulling off paint, pulling off paint. And then you saw me a few times put a little paint back on because I didn't want to lose that edge that I was trying to create. Um, and it kind of created more depth, right? So every time I do stuff like that, it just creates depth. depth. Um, I'm at the point where now I'm kind of working on this blue ship a little more, but I'm like, hmm, it might be cool and interesting to make the ship, this ship specifically, um, two-tone. So I'm going to pull out the belly a little more with, with the turpentine. And what I think I'm going to try to do, and I think I have to be a little more thoughtful on this specific one. Um, look, I could be a doctor. Look, my hands aren't shaking. Just kidding. I, I'm not. I mean, I do operation pretty good. Like when I'm going in for like the, the elbow or the, what are they called? Um, I do pretty good. But um, I wouldn't have me do heart surgery or brain surgery. Well, maybe brain surgery might be interesting, but I don't know if the patient would survive. I'm guessing the lack of knowledge. Um, so I'm right now, I'm just kind of removing a little from the bottom. And I'm also going to soften that. And, and the reason why is because I just want to make sure that there's no um, turpentine sitting on the surface. Because then when I apply another color, it's just going to, it's not going to work well. And it may not work well now anyhow, but I'm going to try. So again, we're going back to my original filbert. The first one, the scrubber. I like to call it the scrubber. And I'm going to scrub in some yellow. Um, you can kind of see it. Just the scrubber. I eat through these. I wish I could show you. I have brushes that look like, like arrows. Like, like bow and arrow, like you could throw at someone and, and injure them because they're so, they're like literally all the, all the brush is eaten off and it's just a point. I can't use those. I throw them out. Most people do. Okay. So I'm like going in, I'm grabbing a little yellow. I think there might be cat hair in my brush. 
but we won't talk about that. Um, and then I'm like literally going to go on the bottom and look at, I'm going to add a little yellow and again, big brush, clunky, clunky. Um, but actually it can be very, when I'm oil painting full on paint, no pencil, and I'm going on all oil, I can paint my entire painting with a big brush like this because there are actually the, the tips of the bristles can hold paint and this and that can hold paint, or you can be really frumpy and clumpy. Um, I'm making all these words up for you guys. Um, so I would, I'm just going to like introduce a new hint of color. Um, and then just kind of do that. I feel like I'm probably, I'm probably going to have like, if we were like to do, let's say we ended this here. I know you can't really see this part very well still because it's like, but then I can like, add here a, a line of yellow. Um, so I think too, I, I'll probably take a brush more like this. Liquin's a good idea. As a side note, liquin has a little beefy, meat, a little meatiness. So if I, if I put enough liquin on it, um, again, this is, this will just sit here, but then I can kind of go in and be like, you know, add it and like try to just hold my breath and just start introducing a new color again I'll probably take the same brush after taking the lick um everything off and I'll hold my breath and I don't even joke holding your breath actually does work it stops you from any kind of breathing is very um distracting when you're trying to make it a really fine edge line and Okay. Okay. So let's say, let's say I'm struggling. I don't know if I can use the word struggling because I know how to resolve it, but let's say I'm like, I'm trying to get, I've decided to add this edge. Right. And it's like, I can't really get the yellow show up at the bottom very cleanly so what i'm gonna do i'm taking off the color because that just looks awful and i know it's the underpainting but i feel like though some people may think some people may think that i don't save files very organized when i'm painting <laughs> i'm very organized in my head i don't know i guess it just doesn't translate to certain things so I know when something's not working, I already have a plan. And so I'm just like, okay, before I'm, if you have a messy canvas and you paint and you keep painting and you know, it's messy in your head, I don't mean messy to other people, messy to you, then forget it. You're already like, you're going down the bat, a wrong path. Um, just like when you save files. So now I'm going to, um, I'm going to just pick up this paint and then I am actually going to um, wipe off and I'm going to lose that edge, but I'm going to make it clean and then I'm going to add yellow and then I'm going to take the background and go up to the color. Then that'll get me the cl the cleanliness that I re require. I'm going to try to just do this and see. See, so I got to be careful too because I wanted to see if that would work. See all this. You got to be and why do I, why do I care? It's just the background. I care because right now I have this really lovely, um, I have to like get all that to be harmonious. So I'm just blending it in and I'm taking off that edge at the same time. Okay. I've taken the edge off. There we go. Now I'm going to go and add a little yellow again and just the background is going to become a little yellow too. Because that's how I'm going to resolve the problem that I have. The problem that's not really a problem because I know how to resolve it. But it's a problem when you're painting and you're like, oh, when this happens, this happens. I know that's really clear, right? Um, the way you fix stuff like that is you got to like break your own rules. So then see, I'm creating this. I'm going to go right up there. I'm going to go leave that part alone. Stay away from there. I think a little over here. Right. And then even though it doesn't matter, because eventually I'll probably cover it. But what if I don't? What if I decide that this background's really cool and I want to keep it loose? 
then I have to be, I have to like clean up my own mess. And that means like now going over this edge. So it's not a sharp edge. So if I wanted to keep some of this, I could. So I'm going to just make sure that, that my new additional background just doesn't look crazy. Um, and then I'll, I'll, uh, cause I'm introducing some new stuff. So I've now added yellow as a two-tone. You're like, is a two-tone really worth it? I think so. I think it'll just add a, a like a hint of something, um, which I think will be really cool. Okay, so from that, um, now that it's obviously yellow and it's obviously going to be a two-piece mold, now I'm going to just go in. I'm going to literally put all my brushes down. I'm going to take my other hand. I'm going to hold and elbow, and I'm going to go in so I don't touch the canvas. And I'm going to. It's. I'm sure people use that. I don't want to call it this, but I can't remember what it's called. The dummy stick. And it's just like, um, if anybody knows what that's called, tell me what it is. Cause I can't remember. I haven't, I've never really used it. And I'm going to like, if it was a two piece bowl, there'd be two pieces. And here's the other piece. This would be yellow. And I'm just lightly adding it. And then I'm going to add a little here. So you can kind of see I'm getting the shape back. And then I'm gonna turn, I'm gonna now use my pinky, so you may not see everything, to hold again. And then again, in my other hand here, um, to balance. And then I'm going to back my eyes up because I apparently am going blind. Um, I guess age is, is a factor. And then I'm just gonna do that. So now I have two parts, and then I'm just gonna verify that I like what that looks like. And I'm gonna be like, I like that again. See now, can you? I don't know if you can see it. Um, I, I'm not sure of the, how great the res is right now, but it's like you can kind of see that I have two pieces um, developing. And then again, same thing here is I'm gonna turn this corner and I'm gonna give it a lip. And this lip is going to be in the same thing. It's gonna be yellow, and so I'm just finding that shape again because I've obviously um taken it away but this is all this it's going to be like a two two-tone blue and top I had to hold my breath you've got to hold your breath sometimes just don't forget to breathe um and then again over here uh, yeah and then you can you can do you know you can kind of see where that yellow is going to be. And then right here, which I actually forgot to whew, go here again. You're going to pop this out. And so then you can kind of see where that's going to end. And that's a, that's going to be now um, a total rockin'. Um, took a little, I, this is, this ship has been a nuisance up to the very beginning, right? First I put on the blue and I wipe off the drying. I'm like, then I'm doing it. I'm like, oh, it would might be cool to go two tone. So now I go and do a two tone on the on the one drawing that's like a little difficult already, right? And I'm just I'm just emphasizing that now. And again, I I can go both ways. I can draw with a pencil. I can draw with charcoal. Um, I can I can draw with a paintbrush. Uh, there are so many different ways to approach this. What I typically do when I'm doing a painting, I draw with a paintbrush, but because I want a little more detail with what I'm doing with NFTs and animation, a cleaner image will help you animate a lot easier. If you have paintbrush strokes all over the place, you're just like, how do I navigate around this? The cleaner you are, the better it is for animation. And so I created this um, so I could go through this process and... Um, be able to cleanly go around it. And so my pencil really does help me mentally. Um, oh, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at my page now and um, Maria says, very engaging music. I'm enjoying watching your process as I am not a gamer. Very interesting. You're dang, you're dang with the brushes. Thank you. It's, it's a passion, right? It's, um, a, uh, it's one of those things where I love to paint been painting for so many years I can't even tell you I've been painting for so many years um and my mom's an artist and so just like really in, enjoyed this whole process but I appreciate that you know what some people aren't gamers and that's cool like um I think 
I I'm driven really very much by the art and then I'm driven by the beauty of gaming and just how the art kind of is is done and then you say Maria says um can totally see it being a movie space bots the movie oh tell me about it there might be a little something coming your way just a cute little you just kind of wait and see lots coming on the space bots um lots coming uh thank you for making some comments and um I'm always thrilled to answer them even when I'm painting because it's like so I, I think I said this earlier but I was kind of like you know you never know who's here but at the same time I'd, I'd say it again so I have three ships in front of you I, I know that there was one question um from an unidentified source an unidentified flying object they asked why are you doing all four on a, on a like why what's your up with your you know color choices what's on the same page and I said actually these are just me painting quickly which means if I put four paintings on a canvas, then when I go to the digital element, I'll cut them all out and they'll become their own entity. And so this is just me um, being efficient. I'm like doing all highlights, highlight, 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 highlight. It doesn't mean I lose that spontaneity. I'm still doing that. I'm like when I'm working on one, I'm like, you know, into it and I'm doing the element. And when I work on the next one, I'm into that one. Um, I'm just doing it more my style and a lot of my pieces have at least two objects in them i mean even behind here i'm working on one of the space spots that i'll be woo, i'm doing more later on and this guy's going to be showing up on um can you see my finger oh there i am wrong finger this guy's going to be showing up on foundation i'm going to do a few um characters of him He'll have wings. He won't have wings. He'll be full body. Um, I'm going to start a collectible starting in a few days. It's going to be super exciting. These characters will have special special things going on with them. Um, but this is the underpainting, just like the planes you're looking at me wa you're watching me do. I notice he's on a board with three randomly looking pilt shaped ships. It's I'm just painting. Well, this time I'm not painting that efficiently, right? I'm like he's over here um, with with color and these aren't ready yet but when i do i'm just gonna be like washing in color and and he, you know this guy has more paint to do and i might do that on the next on the next uh, live session i might just paint him um finish painting him and then i'll cut him out then he'll go in the computer then i'll work on i'll work on this character and go and extend it um, but this is how I do it i i work on a, a bunch of on on one canvas and then, um, and then I go from there. And that's, that's ultimately often how I work. I'll have a bunch of characters um, on one, just those are the base colors, right? And then I'll fast, fast. It's not, and again, it's not that I'm, I'm losing that luminosity or that, that feel of the characters and their own specific thing, but, um, when you're painting and you have so many ideas in your head, I was just like, Ooh, if I put four, if I put these four ships are all like kind of the same vibe, they're going to vibe off each other too. I'm like, Ooh, this rhythm works really well. I want that rhythm to go throughout the whole canvas. And so if they're all on the same page, I get, I get that for free. Um, the canvas too. And, or if they, one fails, maybe they all fail. I don't know, but I, you know, typically I don't see any of my paintings as failures. They just feel like I have to put them aside, come back later. <laughs> <laughs> look at them again and see if I can get them to work. So ultimately I wanted to do the two tone in this one. And I, you know, I, I'm going to go back with a pencil on all of them and be like, okay, um, I want the dark elements of all the windows to be really sharp. So, you know, the pencil just gives that for free. I'm, I am definitely a kind of person that if you have a tool that works, and defines your image and gives you what you want and use it. I'm not the person who's like, you know, you've, it has to be done this way because this is how it's always been. No, I, I'm not that person. I'm like, I want it to look good. And so I will use all of these different means. And so what I do is I use charcoal. I use pastels, colored pencils. I'll, I'll use it all on my canvas. Um, oils. Um, and then I'll go digital and then I'll par start painting. Like a lot of the work, my digital comes when I put like wrappers and I make it look like they're within a scene. That's digital. Like I'm painting plastic and see-through, whatever. I'm painting that digitally because it's so easy. You can do glaze, 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 fade, fade, fade. 
you know, blur, 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 sharp, 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 brushes, brushes. Like it just, it just makes sense to me to do it that way. So um, I'm going to go back in, like I said, take the pencil, redefine some of these edges. So I really get a nice sharp edge where I want it and there'll be nice smooth edges where I don't. Um, but that's going to be like my big next thing is just kind of go back in and define some of these things and make sure um, I haven't lost anything. Because even though you want to think that you haven't lost the shape of a form, often you have. And that's okay. That's cool. Um, I think this is, is likely, um, a good, a good spot to, to end it soon. Um, I would love to know if you guys do have any questions regarded, regarding what's happening here in the painting. Um, a big collection, big as in 20 ish pieces, maybe a little more depending on, um, the format and stuff I choose. Something big's coming on foundation. It's super exciting. Um, look for some things on Twitter. I, it's likely that a lot of the work here is going to migrate into that collection. Um, they all are built off the space bots story, the lore, um, that, you know, Gabe Bryant has written and it's super exciting for where it's going. So all of these ships, all of the characters that I'm bringing to foundation have, you know, are really super rare and cool. Uh, and, and, it, you know, like I said, I just love to paint. So it makes this really easy. So, um, Hey guys, if, if you have an opportunity, check out what we're doing on, at space bots games, um, love for you to kind of go through there and, you know, join a discord, a lot of chatting going on over there. Um, if you haven't already check out our captain's lounge access passport on space bots. that is going to be giving killer access to this coming drop and the next drop that we're going to be doing uh, with the game. So much utility. I'm like, it's crazy. We have so many drops coming. This passport allows you access to all of them for pre pre-sale, but also allows access to a lot of drops that cost you, you know, just gas prices. So it's super exciting. Um, comic lore is coming after the main drop, which will be just dropped right into all the passport holders hands or into their wallet. And, um, Welcome to the Space Bots ride. I'll be going live again, I believe, tomorrow. And this time I will try to be on time. Oh, there's usually some techie, but I think we're finally getting it to the point where it's just like, click, yeah! Um, but we might add another camera, too, on this side so you can see the other angle so you can get a better look of the art. Thank you so much for joining us. I love you all, and I look forward to talking and seeing you guys all tomorrow. Check you later. Go see Space Bots. Bye-bye.